our home Earth, our home planet. A tiny blue dot floating in the vast cosmic ocean. Have you ever stopped to think everything you've ever known, every person who has ever lived, and every story ever told has unfolded here? This fragile sphere is where our journey begins. The moon, our closest neighbor, as we leave Earth's atmosphere and journey 384,000 kilometers to the moon. Consider this, if you drove at 100 kilometers per hour, it would take over 160 days to get there. From the moon, Earth appears as a delicate ball of blue and green, floating in a sea of darkness. Doesn't that make you wonder how fragile life truly is? Next, we travel 150 million kilometers to the sun. Did you know it takes sunlight just over eight minutes to reach Earth? Imagine traveling this distance in a jet flying at 900 kilometers per hour, it would take 19 years. Can you fathom the power of a star that sustains life across such vast distances? Mars, our enigmatic red neighbor, lies at least 54.6 million kilometers from Earth, but that distance can stretch to over 400 million kilometers. If we tried to reach Mars in a commercial jet, it would take more than 50 years. Why do we strive to conquer such challenges? Perhaps it's our unyielding desire to explore. Farther out, Neptune orbits 4.5 billion kilometers from Earth. This majestic ice giant with its deep blue hues is whipped by supersonic winds that can reach speeds of up to 2,100 kilometers per hour. Standing on Neptune's surface, if you could, you'd be bathed in dim sunlight over four hours old by the time it arrives. It's a place where the sun is no longer the vibrant orb we know, but a distant star. How does this distant world remind us of the extremes of our universe? Neptune is also surrounded by a collection of faint rings and at least 14 known moons, the largest being Triton. Triton, a frozen world, is unique as it orbits Neptune in the opposite direction of the planet's rotation, hinting that it may have been captured from the Kuiper belt. Could there be hidden oceans beneath its icy crust harboring the potential for life? Neptune's secrets continue to captivate astronomers, urging us to probe deeper into the outer reaches of our solar system. Launched in 1977, Voyager 1 has traveled over 22 billion kilometers, making it the farthest human-made object. In 1990, it captured the iconic pale blue dot image from 6 billion kilometers away. At such an unimaginable distance, Earth appears as a mere speck less than a pixel in size. Reflecting on this image, Carl Sagan wrote, that's here, that's home, that's us. Doesn't this perspective humble you, knowing that all of human history unfolded on this tiny dot? Today, Voyager 1 continues its silent journey through interstellar space, sending back data about the unknown frontier beyond the heliopause, the boundary where the sun's influence ends. It carries the golden record, a time capsule of Earth's sounds, music, and messages. Intended for any extraterrestrial life that might encounter it, will it ever be found? And if it is, what story of humanity will it tell? At the edge of our solar system lies the Oort Cloud, a hypothetical sphere of icy objects that extends up to 1.9 light years from the sun. This distant boundary marks where the sun's gravitational influence wanes and interstellar space begins. It's a realm of frozen remnants from the early solar system, untouched for billions of years. What secrets might these icy wanderers hold about the birth of our cosmic neighborhood? The Oort Cloud is believed to be the source of long-period comet celestial travelers that journey into the inner solar system before retreating to the darkness. These icy bodies remind us of the dynamic and ever-changing nature of our cosmic surroundings. Could studying them unlock answers about the origins of water and even life on Earth? The closest star system, Alpha Centauri, is 4.4 light years away. It consists of three stars, Alpha Centauri A, Alpha Centauri B, and the faint Proxima Centauri. Proxima Centauri hosts a planet in its habitable zone, sparking dreams of extraterrestrial life. Traveling there with current technology would take over 70,000 years. Can you imagine the leaps in technology required to make such a journey a reality? Proxima Centauri b, the exoplanet in question, orbits its star every 11 days. 
While it resides in the Goldilocks zone, its close proximity to its parent star subjects it to intense radiation. Could life as we know it adapt to such conditions? Or would entirely new forms of life evolve in ways we can't yet imagine? Spanning 100,000 light years, the Milky Way is home to billions of stars and planets. Within it, our human radio bubble extends just 100 light years. Beyond that, it's as if humanity never existed. Does this make you question our place in the universe? The Milky Way is part of the local group, a cluster of over 50 galaxies spread across 10 million light years. These distances dwarf anything within our own galaxy. What stories might these distant worlds hold? The Virgo supercluster, spanning 110 million light years, contains thousands of galaxies. Yet even this colossal structure is just a piece of an even grander formation. How do we comprehend such immensity? Laniakea, our home supercluster, stretches 500 million light years and contains the mass of 100 million billion suns. At its heart lies the great attractor, pulling galaxies toward it. What secrets does this gravitational masterpiece hide? Finally, the observable universe spans 93 billion light years. But if the universe is only 13.8 billion years old, how can it be so vast? The answer lies in cosmic expansion. What lies beyond what we can see? Could it be infinite? As we ponder the enormity of the cosmos, one thing becomes clear. Our tiny blue dot is both fragile and precious. Will we rise to protect and cherish it? Or let it fade into the cosmic abyss? The choice is ours.